We are now going to discuss lymphatic system. <coughs> Lymph is another fluid which is circulating in our body and it also has some specific functions. So this system, it is made up of three things. Lymph, which is the fluid that circulates. The vessels through which this lymph circulates, those are known as lymphatic vessels. And in these lymphatic vessels, we have two categories. One, which are capillaries. So these capillaries are known as lymphatic capillaries. And all these capillaries join to form two main lymphatic ducts. So then, lymphatic ducts. We'll talk about those in detail. And third are lymph nodes. These are some glands, lymphoid tissues, which are present in the path of this lymphatic system where the vessels or these ducts are taking the lymph from. So we will talk about all these three things. Now let us take lymph first. <clears throat> first, what exactly is lymph and how is it formed? The lymph is formed by filtration of blood. We know that the arteries, they divide into arterioles and these arterioles break into a set of capillaries. The walls of capillaries are extremely thin and the pressure is also more. So here filtration of blood takes place. Blood is entering through the arteriole. Here the wall of capillaries is made up of single layer of squamous epithelium which we call the endothelium. And here the lumen is more and capillaries have a narrower lumen. So when liquid comes from wider to narrower lumen, the pressure increases. So here some part of the blood gets filtered and that part becomes the lymph. Now what all gets filtered? It is mainly plasma without cells. Now without cells means there are no RBC. So we can write plasma plus only lymphocytes, no RBC, no platelets, plus lymphocytes. This is what is coming into the lymph and in the plasma part, it is minus mainly the proteins. So when blood comes here, some part of the plasma gets filtered and there are one type of cells which are called lymphocytes. So what exactly is the composition of lymph if we have to talk of? It is blood minus some plasma proteins minus RBCs minus most of the WBCs, only lymphocytes are here and platelets. So we don't write minus WBC because one type of WBCs that is lymphocytes are present. So mainly proteins are not there, RBCs are not there and platelets are not there. So without protein plasma and lymphocytes that make the lymph and it is formed where the tissue is because the capillaries they are formed where the tissue is. So here there are cells where this filtration is taking place. So in this region, there would be this liquid form and this tissue is the lymph or because it is formed in the tissue region, lymph is also known as tissue fluid. The reason is where it is formed because these capillaries are in the tissue region where from the capillaries, some part of the plasma gets filtered and there are cells which are lymphocytes. Now lymph is formed, it is a tissue. Now if we take a situation, say just for our understanding, say 10 milliliters of lymph is formed. That means from the total volume of our blood, that is about approximately 5 liters, 
every time if 10 milliliters is filtered out then the blood volume will decrease so this liquid because it is continuously formed it should be sent back to the main circulation and that job is done by these vessels which are lymphatic vessels so now let us take the next category that is <coughs> lymphatic vessels and as we said we will be talking about two types of vessels one capillaries and the other the main lymphatic ducts so the first are lymphatic capillaries lymphatic These lymphatic capillaries are very much similar to the regular capillaries which are of the blood vessels. Only thing is they are going to carry lymph. They are narrow, lined with only endothelium. Lined with endothelium. And when we, whenever we talk of the lymphatic capillaries, we also talk of a special type of lymphatic capillary which is known as lacteal. Lacteal is the lymphatic capillary which collects the lymph from the villi of intestine. If you are able to uh, recall the process of digestion and absorption, we said that in the intestine there are these villi and the cells of these villi, they have these microvilli. So when absorption of food takes place, in this villus is present this capillary. And because this capillary is going to take the fat in the form of chylomicrons, because of which it appears milky. And that is why it is known as lacteal. So this is the lacteal that we are talking of and it is special because it appears milky due to presence of those chylomicrons or the fat which this vessel is transporting. So lacteals are found in villi of intestine and help in transport of absorbed fat. Transport of absorbed fat, which is in the form of chylomicrons. And because of this fat in the vessels, they appear milky and that is why they are called lacteals. Other lymphatic capillaries are just known as lymphatic capillaries. <clears throat> the second type of lymphatic vessels, they are the two main vessels. Now from everywhere these capillaries are going to collect the lymph. Let us take the same diagram. Here the lymph is formed. From here the lymph will be collected by capillaries. So all these capillaries collecting lymph from various regions are going to join the bigger lymphatic vessel and all these lymphatic vessels join to form two main lymphatic ducts. Lymphatic ducts or lymphatic vessels? There are two. One is known as the right lymphatic duct. This light, right lymphatic duct, as the right word is there, it is going to collect all the lymph collected by the capillaries poured into this vessel from the right side of the body. Right side of neck, right side of the body, arm and the right part of the body. All the lymph from the right or which is produced in the right part is finally collected by this major lymphatic duct and this duct opens at the junction of right <clears throat> subclavian and right internal jugular vein. So this is the place where this
this right lymphatic duct opens. Now coming to the second one, that is which is going to bring the limb or collect the limb from the left side of the body. And that is known as thoracic duct. This thoracic duct, it collects all the limb from the left side of the body and also from the lacteals. So from left side. And this also opens at the junction of subclavian and jugular. But those are of the left side. So this opens at the junction of left, here it was right subclavian, left subclavian and left internal jugular. So opening is at the junction of subclavian and internal jugular but one is on the right side other is on the left side so these two main ducts carry the complete limb from their respective sides from the right and from the left side and they pour it into the main circulation and that is how the volume of the blood is maintained so limb formation is taking place in the tissue region these capillaries from these tissues, they collect this lymph. These capillaries join to form the vessels. And finally, there are two main lymphatic ducts which pour that entire lymph into the main circulation. Now, as we are talking about the vessels, we need to understand that basically they are veins. They are taking the blood from the tissue to the main circulation or closer to the heart. So they are acting as veins. So do they have similarities with veins? The similarity is that they have valves. So lymphatic vessels <coughs> have valves like the veins have. But here the number of valves is much more as compared to veins. And because of which, the lymphatic vessels appear beaded. In case of lymphatic vessels, say for example, we draw this lymphatic vessel here. And it has valve to maintain unidirectional flow. So here is this valve so that the lymph can move up and then it starts to move down because of gravity, this valve closes. Again, there would be a valve here, again a valve and valve. Because of these multiple valves, the lymphatic vessel looks like this, slightly swollen. The place where the valves are. So wherever there is a valve, there is a slight swelling. And if we see it from outside, it appears to have swellings at regular intervals. And that is why we say it appears beaded due to presence of multiple valves. So this is the similarity which they have with the veins that they have valves but the number of valves is much more as compared to veins. So valves are more and because of these valves the lymphatic vessels they appear beaded. So now we know how the lymph is formed. Why is it known as the tissue fluid because it is formed in the tissue and the vessels which are collecting this. Now we have to discuss the lymphatic nodes.